Hey guys, I love fast food. So while on stream, I decided to rank every fast food place in Canada from best to worst. And here's how it went. And if you like this video, you know, drop, drop a subscribe, maybe like it, maybe comment, maybe share. I don't know, whatever, whatever you feel like doing. Thanks. Okay. I think, I think Canada and America has a bunch of overlap. I think Five Guys is both, McDonald's is both, Quiznos, Popeyes. What the fuck is Osmo? Okay, I'm going to get rid of the ones that I don't know. I don't know what the fuck Mary Brown's is. I don't know what Valentine is. St. Hubert? That doesn't even sound real. This list might get controversial. I, I think I have... I think whatever I say is 100% correct. All right, let's see. A and W? Okay, a and W is fucking sick. a and W has good, has good every, like everything is solid and it has good poutine. I, I order poutine in every single fast food place I go to. And a and W has sick ass poutine. And also their burgers are good. Their menu isn't too big. I think it's just overall good. The only reason I'm not putting an S is because, uh, it has has no specific s standouts. It's just solid. It's just so everything is good. Canadian KFC, A and W, McDonald's, and Taco Bell. Yeah, okay. That is another thing I have to say. The Canadian versions of these things are much better. Canadian Chipotle is way better than American Chipotle. American Chipotle kind of blows. The quality just ain't there. All right, Burger King. Burger King is fucking garbage. Burger King is where you eat if you have to eat or if like if you don't eat burger king you die you they sell a, 10 nuggets for a dollar there's something wrong with it you love bk i i don't get it all right chipotle so i'm going based off canadian chipotle and i think it's a solid it might even be s canadian chipotle is s I think Canadian Chipotle is the fucking golden standard for fast food places. Maybe maybe it's because you haven't had it in America, Haley, but it's kind of bad here. It makes me like really like the Canadian one. The meat is good quality. It might move down, but every time I've had it in Canada, it's been really good. All right, Domino's. Domino's, it's like a perfect B. It's like very middle of the road. I think Domino's is just like, because the pizza's not that good, right? Like, objectively speaking, the pizza's kind of bad. Yeah, it's like, it's just, it's good drunk food and it's cheap. And I like the cheesy bread. DQ, uh, it's just ice cream, right? DQ is also a B. I'm sorry, I've never had a DQ burger and I've never wanted to have a DQ burger. If you, if you, if you know what I'm saying. I don't think like, uh. I'm not gonna get a burger from a an ice cream maker. I just don't think they know what they're doing. I th I think it's middle of the road. I th I like their soft serve. I like it when they dip it in. Five Guys. All right, Five Guys is a special place in my heart. I think it's just like one of the best fast food burgers. If there was a Shake Shack here, I would rank this lower. But since there's no Shake Shack or In and Out. Five Guys is going S tier. I think Hero Burger has more options, but I think the quality isn't as good. I don't think I've had Hero Burger enough, but every time I've had it, I think it was good. A. Harvey's. Harvey's? I don't know what happened. Do you guys know that the Harvey's Burger is the same as the Kelsey's Burger? Isn't that crazy? They, they literally make it's the same meat. They just charge you like $15 for it. Yeah, it is definitely D tier. In fact... Harvey's might be lower. Their slogan is make your burger a beautiful thing. But every time I've had it, it's been fucking vile. Jimmy the Greek. Oh, I fucking love Jimmy the Greek. Jimmy the Greek, I like so much. And I'm so upset that there's no alternative in the States. I'm going to put this at A. Jimmy the Greek is so good. You know what? You know what? I'm happy with that. Jimmy the Greek. Sheesh. KFC. KFC has really good poutine. 
And the famous bulls are fucking sick. But everything else is kind of gross. C tier. Manchu walk, I had once. I didn't like it, but I don't think it's bad. This is also C. I think it's just like forgettable. I think Manchu walk is forgettable as fuck. I'm sorry. All right, McDonald's. McDonald's just good old, good old food, you know? And I think McDonald's in Canada is way better than the McDonald's in America. It's got like uh, wraps. We got salads. We got all kinds of shit. All right, Mr. Sub, middle of the road. It's good. It's good. Better than a Subway. The fuck is Mucho Burrito? I've never had it, so I don't feel qualified. New York fries? Mm -mm. The One of the worst poutine... Uh, you know what? Let's see. I, I can't give it a D. But I think it's... I think it has worse poutine than KFC and a &W, Which... Come on. Your name is New York Fries. You, you got one job, and it's to make fries, you know? Pita Pit? I actually fucking... I, I fuck with Pita Pit hard. I actually really like Pita Pit. Pizza Hut? So I think Pizza Hut... Okay, here's the rub. I think Pizza Hut's better than Domino's. But I don't think it's an A tier. So I'll leave them both at B tier for now. I don't want to drop any of them. You know, I'm going to leave it for now. I'm going to leave it for now. Pizza Nova? Pizza Nova's a C tier. I, th I don't even remember it. It's, it's out of my mind. Pizza Pizza? Fucking trash. Pizza Pizza's fucking... Garbage. The only thing that's good is the sauce. Pizza Pizza has the same kind of dough as Domino's. Well, they're they're doing something wrong to it, cause it, it it don't taste the same. It's always so dry. The only the only saving grace for this Pizza Pizza nonsense is their creamy garlic dipping sauce. Sometimes I would go to Pizza Pizza, buy the dipping sauces at Pizza Pizza, then get pizza at a different place. And that's when you know your pizza's bad. You do one thing right, that's that's it. It's all their money is their creamy garlic. Everything else is garbage. They they do have five dollar mediums, which is which is good. Popeyes. Popeyes a B. Popeyes good. Quiznos. This is good. Quiznos is good. I don't think I've seen a Quiznos in years. I think they ran their business into the ground, and I'm taking that into account with my ranking, because if they were better at their jobs, maybe I would eat more of it. Because they'd be around, but they're not around, so. B for you. Should have should have managed better, Quiznos. Second cup? I mean, it's a coffee place, right? B. It's coffee. They have a frozen hot chocolate. It's good. Smokes poutinery? Bad. It's bad. They microwave their meat. It's gross. I think every other poutine... In any of these places is better. It's it's like the it's like the face of Canadian poutine, and it's it's awful. I feel so bad for people coming to Canada and then getting smokes because they heard it's good. Fries are soggy. The the curds aren't curdy. The gravy's gravy's fine. The meat's like tough. Starbucks, eh, I don't like it's coffee, right? Like the Starbucks do anything well? They have fraps, but they're really expensive. C tier. I think their coffee is kind of bad. All right, Subway's garbage. Fuck Subway and their awful sandwiches. Subway is actually vile. It's actually a blight on this world. And I think it makes the quality of life worse for every living being. Down from the smallest ant to the, to the largest elephant and everything in between, life is worse off because of Subway. They, they don't care about anything. They're fucking crazy in there. You get a, you get a sandwich, they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck what happens. I once asked for a for a meatball, meatball marinara on flatbread, and this bitch could not fold it for her life, and she ripped the bread. And then the bread was ripped, a meatball fell out, she crammed it back in there. It was so it was it was so gross. The bread was ripped in like four different places. And granted, I I took meatball marinara, right? And that that's kind of on me, but she really fucked up. Like, it was really bad. And she was like, she kept trying to refold it and keep trying to close it. And then, like, it, she was, like, smashing the meatballs down. And it was it was really gross. The flatbread was completely ripped in half. There was no saving it. She she finished. She started, she started folding it up, like, in the wrapper. I just looked her in the eye. I'm like, do I have to eat that? And then she looked at me back. She's like, do you want me to make you another one? I'm like, yeah. I, 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 I don't even know how I, I could... 
start eating that. Half the time, their cucumbers are fully frozen. What, like, how how are they fro- is it, What does it eat fresh? My ass. What the fuck? Why do you have frozen cucumbers? At least defrost it before you put it in there. No other sandwich place smells like a Subway. Do they have, like, a, a certain scent that they've concocted? Subway is, is uh, a blight on this world. And, uh, frankly, every time I've seen a Subway, as, there's been nobody in it. Also, their chicken isn't even chicken. It's, like, 50% chicken. Like, how do you get, how do you get away? They, they take, like, a soy patty. They, like, spray it down with, like, chicken juice. And then paint, like, sear marks on it. Okay, Swish LA. Now, I know this is gonna get flack. I think people, a lot of people don't like Swish LA. I, I, I like it. I like it, okay? I like the gravy. I know it tastes like burnt. People people say it's like gross, but I think it's good. I have it unsubscribed from the Swish LA email list because I miss it. Oh, Taco Bell. This, this will be controversial too, but fucking S tier, baby. S tier all the way, I'm a Taco Bell boy. This this one, I, I could eat every every day. Every day could I eat a Taco Bell. And especially the Canadian one. Woo! They got the fucking Fry Supreme. It's like a $1.50. It's so good. I don't know how your body handle it. Sarah. My body doesn't handle it. That's the thing. It's it's not good for me. And I know it's not good for me. My body doesn't knows it's not good for me. But I can't stop because the flavors are just... Cheesy Gordita Crunch is one of like the top top five best things in in world in the world. Just that in the Crunchwrap Supreme, out of all all things that to have ever existed, those are in the top two, and then everything else you know like World Peace or whatever. Uh, Thai Express B, it's fine. I don't hate it. I don't love it. It was good as like a college student. It was pretty consistent. They had walks in there. You know you could walk there and they would. It'd be like flipping food, and that was cool. B, solid, solid choice. Now, this motherfucker. Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons also F tier. Probably the worst coffee I have ever had. Bar none. Every cup was diarrheaed into by, by some person back there. And then burnt. It's that bad. Half the time, their hot chocolate it is so watered down. Like, they didn't put in enough, like, powder or whatever. Because their hot chocolates are just water and powder. Which, I mean, if I'm paying, like, $3 for it, at least put in, like, a drop of milk, you know? Like, a, a little, like... Take, like, a little, like, syringe and inject some milk in there, please. Give me some kind of cream. I, I need it, please. Their ice caps? How come, like, every other place has figured this out, but you get their ice... I'm, I'm so fucking tilted. When you get their ice caps, it's like, it's you drink it, right? You know, you get the straw. And after you drink it, there's like this much ice left. What the fuck is that? Why is there so much ice left? Like, you, you, you're like, you're like, trying to get like, a little like, a, 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 a dot of syrup from there. It's so frustrating. Like, what, what ha like, how does this happen? No other restaurant has this issue. <laughs> Wendy's? Oh, Wendy's is fucking poggers. Uh, A. Wendy's is an A.